I just became a dad. And then it'll tell you that when you bring your child home from the hospital, that there is a new king of the household. When my wife and I brought this baby into our lives, we instantly became peasants. What can I get you? Lord, anything, anything at all. May I wipe your butt? Oh, please let me do it to be my deepest honor. Are you tired? Take my sleep. I want you to have it. Please take all my energy, every ounce and fiber of my being, everything I used to be and am now. It's yours, it's all yours. Are you hungry, sire? Take my wife's tea. You deserve it more than I. Please take my wife's tea. I have no more use for them. If I may assist, I will dip it in your mouth like an au jus. Do you like French dips, my lord? Otherwise, I can stand in the corner and awkwardly do nothing as I stare. <laughs> the doctor said that for a newborn, we need to keep the temperature in his room between 68 degrees and 72 degrees. Otherwise, he might die. <laughs> what kind of stuck up royal king behavior is that? <laughs> if you do not meet my demands, I might suddenly pass away. Would you like that on your conscience until the end of time? Here, take this air conditioning bill and leave me. So it's hot in every room in our place, except the king's room. Sometimes I'll crack the door open and slip my nose in just to remember what cool air feels like. It's like heaven on earth in there. A white noise machine is gently cooing him to sleep. The best of Enya is always on loop. Meanwhile, in my room, it's hot. It's aggressive. Public Enemy is playing for some reason. It's like a war scene in there. There's spit up everywhere. We bring our son in for just a second. He starts crying immediately. Oh, why is it so hot in here? Is this how the commoners live? Take me back to my frozen chambers immediately. Oh, yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. My son is 16 months old and already has zero respect for me. <laughs> my wife is sweet, she's trying to teach him sign language so he can let us know when he wants more. More. But he looks me in the eyes and he can already tell I'm a beta and he's an alpha. <laughs> he clenches his fists, he just starts to bash it on the table. He's like, no, this means more. Now go get me more milk now, tea preferably, wench. I was bathing the king the other night. Had a little tub in the sink, he was really enjoying himself. He's so fat, he has skin creases that are still sticking together even when he's reclined. Me as the lowly peasant had to get all the gross stuff out of the folds. And he's like, oh yeah, it's right there, Father Deepa. Yes, right there. I start to drain the water out of the tub, and he shoots me this look like, I'm not done yet, peasant. And as soon as the water subsides below his hip level, he gives me a very purposeful look, and he arcs a perfect pee <laughs> over the sink, directly on my crotch. And he locked eyes with me, he's like, you're not going anywhere. I'm like, I just took it like the bait I am. My wife is loving this, by the way, and so is the glutton king. His fat rolls are bouncing up and down so hard because he's laughing now. Ah, this is what a real man looks like, father. Ah. That's the king I serve. <laughs>